So this one is very similar to the one we just did, except it's replace all. So we're going to do the same from and to replacement, except we're going to replace it everywhere. We see that we got this input here that has a bunch of spaces in between every character. And the thing that we're replacing is a empty space, or a space character, white space character, and we're replacing it with nothing. So like we're removing it. All right, mm. let's see. Uh, so definitely we need to start, I can start us off with the T extends string, and we need from string to extend string. All right. What do you think? Yeah, Where would you now, start on something like because, this? Because we've got the replace every, this one definitely seems like a recursive problem where you, you do one replace and then you take the results and you, you do the replace again until mm -hmm. you're, until you finished. Um, so I guess we could work with the, that, uh, do you want to bring the other? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll grab the one we were looking at, uh, for just regular replace. We'll have it up here for reference. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Yeah, so I think we can just do... And again, uh, to those watching, this was the one we did just before this. So if you want to see about how we got to this solution, go check that one out. Um, okay. I guess we don't need to re-implement that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's pretty much... I guess maybe it's... It's like uh, it's like this, but I don't yeah, want to ruin it. But I think I mean we can sort of start with this and see where that gets us. Yeah, um, I think it's just this this statement here. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's going to recur somewhere in there. Uh, wait, I'm doing this all wrong. This will be L. Mm -hmm. So um, okay. So the, the T is the replaced output, which is this. Um, and I guess we could just use the, um, we could just use like this one again and go. So do you want a hint? Uh, okay, go on. So it, it, is, it is basically this, except the, the recursion is gonna happen on like it's kind of like R is an accumulator because if we if we imagine it going from left to right, that's just how they implemented it in TypeScript that it kind of like goes character or glob at a time from the left to the right. So it's kind of like R yeah. is the remainder, and so we wanna we wanna replace on that remainder. So we'll do like a replace all here, but instead of T being passed in as the input, R is the input, and you know the from and the two are the same. Those that's like that's like application state or something. Yeah. So those things never change. But the thing that changes is that what we're now recursing on is like a smaller subset of the main thing. And that's yeah. what R is. Because these these are just the parameters. Exactly. What that you're replacing. And the, the T is kind of the, the, the operand, the thing that you're working on. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, that makes more sense. And they all pass. I feel like I was on the right track. <laughs> yeah, you definitely were. I mean, yeah. so I mean, these kinds of things. It's so funny because sometimes it's like you just gotta play with it until it works, and then once it works, you're like, well, I guess that makes sense. But then you know, <laughs> who can really say in the beginning, yeah. um, one way or the other? But I mean, we just we just went through this, but I think the the thing that's sort of counterintuitive is that this can potentially be just empty if it. If yeah, there. definitely. Yeah, the L the L can be and like a just have to and and the other way too. I mean, when you get eventually, it's going to terminate with the base case of the recursion, and the R will yeah. be for both of these for replace and replace all. R will be nothing. It'll be an empty string, and then like that's when it gets to the end and it stops. Because otherwise, I mean, otherwise it would I don't know loop continue from the beginning or something. It, it has to stop somewhere, okay. and that's why it stops. It stops at the end, but you can still infer on that kind of nothingness. But yeah. yeah, are you one of those people that argues that zero is not a number? Do you know about this? Uh, not really. But I mean, I I'm also just joking. Have thought about it that there, much. there is a train <laughs> of thought I've guessed that zero is not a number. It's a similar sort of thinking, though, that like you can't count zero things. Um, okay, <laughs> on to the next one. That's enough for replacing tonight, I think. 